much to come. So, <laughs> what can you tell us about? Did you like it? What can we expect? What can we tell you? I'm pretty nervous. There's so many rules of what we can and cannot say, but I personally feel like it's we're not Isn't that how you clean them before you cook? Has everybody seen the trailer? Yes! yes. Guys, we're like a month away. How excited is that? I'm so excited. Oh my I god! I feel like you need to talk about something more of an 
I feel like Nicole's just like a. Okay, do you breathe. be like some sort of shepherd. And I know that seems like a cop out. No, no, no. However, because it's like cuddly and cute, but, but still smart. <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I say one time I Please. had a pit bull? And they are the most loving, like they get a bad rap. They're really oh, tough. They're so cute. They're really tough. They're beautiful. But they, but they will just, they just lie in your lap and they'll just, they're just like, and they guard you. Oh. Melanie, yeah. Okay. Pickle. Dolphin. Pickle. <laughs> Thank you, motherfucking sponsor, Michelle. Michelle, you can go. Hi. First of all, I would like to say my group chat, Gay Hot. Love you guys. Uh, second of all, I hope everyone's day is as nice as Melanie Scrapano's butt. <laughs> and I was wondering what would be something you would teach your character? Uh, eat during what? Something you would teach, like oh. something you would like them to know or like to do. Did you say eat or teach? Teach. <laughs> it's a lot of echo. It's not yeah, a lot it's, of echo. It's not that we can't stand. Can you guys understand us? Yes. Okay. I wasn't very comfortable. I don't know. <laughs> something you would teach. 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 Yeah, it was 
she and I are on the floor. Let's see, I'm on this part. And I, uh, that was the first time that I, that we on set showed my pregnancy. Like that was the first time on camera that we showed it. And even on set, like I'd been walking around, some people didn't even realize I was pregnant on set. Um, Cause it was honestly like a need to know and they were just like, wow, she's so out. But that was it. So um, I felt very vulnerable in that moment. That always stands out to me as just being like, I, and I was, I was sitting next to Dom and she was wearing, I, I don't remember what you were wearing, but it was beautiful and like, you just looked like you. And, um, and it was very difficult. Like, um, I just felt like it was such polar opposites that I, I, but it was also very helpful because I was like, well, this is what it feels like. This is what it feels like when you're, you no longer feel, uh, I don't know, like you have an obvious place, I guess. And, but it was really great to, to fight through that and get through the season and, and find my place. Um, and find the feeling of, of I belong here and I, I'm beautiful in my own way or whatever that was. Um, it was. It was tough, but that was sort of a metaphor for the season. That was also my favorite. get where you are 
you're an amazing woman and I admire you so much. I'm telling you this on behalf of her. like 
like put 20 people in our room. It's just so not what my family do at all. And there are photos with my dad naked with a sheet around him. Like, still on a table and me like dancing around and the child on the table. It was so much fun. So that's one of them. Um, My uncle, my uncle has a peach farm, and um, so my favorite memories growing up are um, we were very short peach season because of uh, the weather in Canada, and so my favorite memories are in early August walking um, with my dog when I was growing up down the rows of peach trees, and the grass was like really tall, and I would be in my bare feet, and you would like put your hand. I'm closing my eyes because I'm reliving it. You put your hand up into the tree and you touch the fruit and it's like warm and soft and then you pick a peach off the tree and it's got fuzz on it because when you buy peaches in the grocery store they don't have the fuzz and eating it and like your face gets kind of prickly and your clothes get prickly and that's like literally my favorite childhood memory. Could you say that, please? 
If you're here. <laughs> Who's close to 362? Stand up. <laughs>
say quite different because then we can always have fun with like you know that sort of dynamic and that nice tension which makes us laugh like we're a great odd couple you know so, but i think yeah i think definitely that after season two like you know i think nicole has proven that she has um our backs and and certainly ours um which is what matters most to wino probably and um and so Oh, and Madeline, 2018. Give us another name for it, since you didn't know it at the start of the week. 2018. Give us another word for it, because you didn't know it at the start of the week, and then you only just discovered it on Twitter. 2018. Yeah. <laughs> for Kat. My friends and I, uh, when we started watching the show, we had the theory that Nicole was bad because she appeared out of nowhere and she seemed to know things about the sisters. So did you know something about your character being different than Waverly's uh, girlfriend? Or if you don't, uh, would you like to Nicole, to have a different turn. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we thought your character was bad at first because she appeared out of nowhere. She knew things or she seemed to know things. Did you know something different about your character than being Waverly girlfriend? Did I know something about Nicole in the yeah. back of the yeah. Back in season one, did I know something different yeah. about Nicole? That okay. Having a different role that, uh, okay. that she has now. No, I didn't. It was Nothing. like, um, it was, it was, I think Nicole in season one, which is the Nicole, Nicole you mean, right? Um, was very, um, I think the character of Nicole, I, I got the feeling the writers, I don't think we're 100% sure where they wanted to take her. I do think at the beginning, the intention was maybe to take Nicole a little bit darker. So I think what you're picking up on was definitely exactly. there. Yeah. Cause I picked up on it too. And I remember midway through the season, wondering if I was going to open a script and be like, and she was going to do something bad. Cause she did have yeah. a little bit of a shady work. Quite, she was a bit shady at first, you know? And, um, but I think, when they saw the connection with Waverly and Nicole, and I think just the way it was coming Chemistry. across, it seemed that the character kind of started to shift, and you saw a much softer side. But I, I, I do think you're on something because I too think there was possibly an intention in the writing room to take Nicole to a darker place. Uh, would you like to have to, her to have a turn like that? Well, there's a really fun episode this season. I don't know how it's going to turn out because I just kind of went for it, but it where we see. A uh, very, very dark, different side of Nicole. So, okay. yeah, I think that's a fun. So it's a very fun episode. So you'll like that, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, so they didn't understand what I just did over there. So this is. You could have a whole conversation. We're not. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't know these were Russian. <laughs> but you can you guys understand? Okay. Hi, I'm so nervous. It got so much scarier when I had to stand all the way in front of you here. Oh, whatever. Uh, I'm Frida. I'm from Sweden. Um, and I wanted to ask you um, if we will be seeing or hearing anything about baby Alice in season three. And if Way Hot had a baby, like what roles do you think they would play as moms? Like who would be the good cop, bad cop mom? <laughs> Like that. It's a whole other, other theme question. Like, who, if you guys were moms, who would be the good cop, who would be the bad cop? I have my interview. And then we'll go, I think my immediate instinct to that is I actually think we really would be the bad cop. I think Nicole would be just too, uh, such a softy and have a real hard time putting her foot down. Yeah. We would be very keen to teach her all the right things, all the right skills. You know, but in, in a beautiful 
way, but like in a funny way. way. You'd be on Pinterest. Like, how to shoot a gun Also, Mel, Mel Gray. Thank you. Hi, sorry. Uh, my last question for uh, Kath and Dominic. We're going to say bye to them and we're going to stay with Melanie. So if you've got a question for both of them, it's the last one. I'm sorry. So much pressure. But they're going to go to the photo, so we're going to see them out. Well, I have a big question and I'm an actress, so I would like to know which...